Officials have said that under India's $375 million contract with the Philippines, Brahmos Aerospace will supply 30 Brahmos cruise missiles in the anti-ship configuration, along with surveillance come guidance radar systems, launcher vehicles, command and control centers and replenishment vehicles. Brahmos Aerospace will supply the entire order within three and a half years, and will also have to indigenize the equipment to a level of about 70%. In a significant development, Larson and Tubro will be given a grant under the MiG category by the Defence Ministry to build the future infantry combat vehicle prototype for the Indian Army that will be used for evaluation and trials. One more private sector firm and one public sector firm will be given the same grant for the development of a prototype that will be customized as per requirements of the Indian Army. The Army is looking to procure 1,750 track FICVs, out of which 55% will be gun version, 20% will be command version, and 25% will be command and surveillance version. National Aerospace Laboratories has developed a plasma sprayable coating for high temperature applications such as gas turbine engines. This coating can be applied on turbine blades and surfaces of metallic parts in the hottest part of gas turbine engines that will enable the engines to operate at significantly higher gas temperatures and also avoid hot corrosion. An Indian private sector firm Ajna Lens has announced that it has also developed a see-through armor technology that is designed to upgrade Indian main battle tanks and armored fighting vehicles. With this development, Ajna Lens is third private sector company after Larsen and Tubro and Tunbo Imaging to develop see-through armored technology that can provide 360 degrees situational awareness to future armored fighting vehicles. The French company Liebherr Aerospace and Transportation has signed a contract with Hindustan Aeronautics to supply onboard heating and ventilation system for the light utility helicopter for the Indian Army and Indian Air Force. The Defence Acquisition Council has already approved the procurement of 12 light utility helicopters, and the first delivery is scheduled for August 2022. The Andaman and Nicobar Command has inducted two advanced light helicopter Mark III at Indian Naval Station in Port Blair. They are equipped with twin powerful Shakti engines, modern radar system and electro-optical sensors, and is capable to carry out day and night missions with maximum 14 soldiers. The Titiga Wagons Limited has conducted the key laying ceremony for the first of the five diving support crafts for the Indian Navy. The ships will be fitted with state-of-the-art diving equipment and tools for performing the diving operations, that will provide assistance for underwater repairs maintenance and salvage. After the statement by the U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price, that the Biden administration has not made a determination with regard to India's purchase of S-400 system, and the U.S. continues to discuss with the Indian government given the risk of sanctions for this particular transaction, India's Ministry of External Affairs has said that India pursues an independent foreign policy that also applies to its defense acquisitions and supplies which are guided by its national security interest. Thank <laughs> you.